Hello, human-shaped friends. Okay, so <laughs> this is a Sketchbox review. You guys already know my opinion about Sketchbox since I am getting rid of mine. But it was a six-month uh, subscription. Either this month or next month will be my last one. So this is the box on the struggles for August. Now it's calling itself the premium metallic watercolor box. Uh, if you've ever watched my channel before, you know my feelings on glitter. This box is just glitter. I'm going to do my best to put that aside so that way you can, I don't know, get something else out of it. <laughs> this box has not changed my opinion about canceling my subscription. Let's just put that out there right away. So you have a gel pen. It's gold. You have three what they are calling art crayons. Er, three. <laughs> You have some, just shaking that up a little bit, um, metallic ink, which is water soluble. And then you have two watercolor pans, which again are metallic. Additionally, a little paintbrush and some black, er, uh, <laughs> some black watercolor paper, cold press. The paper per usual is beautiful. I love it. It's got a great feeling. It's black, which will in fact be fun to play with. Black paper is super fun to play with. Let's talk about these though. Um, <laughs> so it's a watercolor paintbrush. There's genuinely nothing super special about it. The wood isn't bendy. The bristles were fine once the wax was out of it. Did the job. Huzzah. These I guess we will use their terminology. Art crayons are just stupid. I'm sorry, they are. Um, I'm a full grown adult who ordered the professional <laughs> box. Why are you giving me crayons? If I wanted, if I wanted essentially raw spreadable pigment that is water soluble, they make those for watercolors. You get a little watercolor stick, you rub it out, and then you, you, you dilute it with water. And I know that Sketchbox knows this because I've gotten that in one of their other boxes. Whatever. Uh, mine has a moderate manufacturing error, a green one. It doesn't have all the stuff on it. <laughs> so. Then we have the aqua ink, uh, the exact same brand of aqua ink we've gotten before. It is water soluble, it is fine. And then two pans. <sighs> it's fine. Those are my words about this. This is fine. Um, is it special? No. Is everything clutter covered in glitter? Yes. Am I happy? No. All right, it's just like last time. I did this little guy. So that way you could actually see how things spread. Um, hold on, <laughs> I should probably get the things out from underneath it. So that way it's sitting flat. That's who needs to do that. So you can see, I mean, it is definitely metallic. The crayons are water soluble. That's what these three here are. Um, definitely smooth, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I hate glitter. I'm trying really hard not to let my opinion of how much I hate glitter affect this. But I hate glitter and everything is glittery. So, those are fine. These are the watercolors. They're fine. This is the ink. It's fine. You might be wondering, what's this? This little patch right here. Well, that's because they gave us three of the exact same colors. Now, I will say that the crayon and the ink, that's what these two are, are supposed to be the same color. They are both marketed as copper. The crayon is a bit more gold. The watercolor, which was marketed as rose gold, looks identical, essentially identical to the ink. 
So great variety there, you know, giving us limited color palette and then limiting it even further. Uh, I just drew a little skull guy. I mean, the gel pen does exactly what a gel pen is supposed to do. It only uh, thinned out a couple of times while I was going. I mean, everything was definitely water soluble. Nothing layered particularly well because every time you layered it, the glitter moved every time. Every single time you rehydrated it, the glitter would move. So if you plan on using this set or really any metallic set, once again, look how shiny. Oh, so shiny. Always put your glitter down last. Um, yeah. That's it. That's, that's what I have to say. The inconsistencies are still very prevalent. Like these art crayons. They're fine. They do the job, I guess. Eh. Just eh. Why would you give me, why would you give me three of the exact same color? These three right here. And something that only has math, seven color options. <laughs> why would you take about half of them for the same color? I don't understand. It's fine. Whatever. The pans are fine. Um, they liquefied fairly easily. They spread fine. They don't layer well. Nothing gets particularly dark because it is all supposed to be metallic. It's fine. It's just, it's just fine. That's it. That's all, that, that's the niceness I can say about this. The little card that we got this time around, the artist did a, I don't know, words, word thing. They did a word thing and they're like, create. Because of course they did. Because you can't really do detail work with any of this. The crayons are these blunt edged things that you can scroll up and down. Okay, that you can scroll up, down you kind of have to shove. And you can wet it on the thing to get little detail-y bits, but they're just, they're just metallic. Like creating an actual piece of artwork with these would be intensely difficult. It's why I just did a little cartoony skull because I had nothing better I could think of, honestly. It's fine. That's my review. It's fine. The ink is fine. The watercolors are fine. The crayons are fine. The gel pen's fine. It's just fine. Nothing in here is exciting. Nothing is in here is new. And yes, I do hate glitter. So I will probably never use any of this because it's just glitter. <laughs> that is what metallic is. Metallic is we put in a bunch of glitter to make it look shiny, to trick your brain into thinking that it's something else or to make you bird and go, ooh, it's so shiny. When I use glitter, I use it very, very, very sparingly. Normally it is in my watercolors or my acrylics or my oils. Normally it is in my paints. At least they got that bit right. But this is just... <sighs> Sorry. The distribution of glitter is not horrible in the watercolors and the ink. It actually distributes fairly nicely even after you have re-wet it. I cannot say the same thing about the crayon. It does not, it does not distribute nicely. Um, it settles in slightly odd places, which does make it more difficult to maneuver. And that's it. That's my review. That's, that's it. That's what I got. Um, I'm still happy that either this month or next month will be my last box because this is just ridiculous. None of this is new. None of this is new or exciting or put in a new way to make me think more and push more. It just, it just isn't. Um, again, I do hate glitter. That's definitely changing this. That's why I was trying really hard to think, okay, let's think quality. The quality of the ink is decent. Uh, it does separate fairly quickly. So you'll want to definitely shake it before you use it. The quality of the pans is decent as well. Again, it's not super pigmented. It seems to mostly be focused on the glitter distribution, which it does do properly. The crayons, they feel like crayons when you're using them, so it's really hard to get your brain out of the, it's a crayon, and into a, it is a different type of watercolor to distribute in a different way. And the gel pen is a gel pen. There is nothing special about it. <sighs> if I had been given watercolor sticks instead of crayons, 
this box would have been better. The fact that it is called crayons is just maddening, I guess. Art is supposed to be fun. You're not supposed to take it too seriously. I mean, you can. I do. <laughs> so maybe the crayons are supposed to enact that whole inner child thing. I don't know. The quality of everything is fine. If you like glitter, this is your box. If you don't like glitter, this isn't your box. If you're trying to make a project out of each of these boxes, you'll definitely have to use this watercolor paper that they sent just so you can actually get some darks. Because nothing in here is dark and nothing in here layers well. So you can't even try to make it darker. Like I said in the beginning, I am not upset that I am canceling my subscription. It is intensely mediocre. It is fine. Sketchbox, do better. I mean, if you're going to give me this watercolor palette that's supposed to be this pretty silver blue, have the pigments actually show up properly. Give me more variety in color or make it a monochromatic challenge so that way everything isn't the same color in the exact same tone and shade because that's what that's what this is that's it that's my review it's mediocre nothing in here is exciting and i hate glitter <laughs>